Hello, everybody. Welcome to another great episode of Distilled, Brewed, and Reviewed. My name is John. This is the World Famous Sipping Den. On this channel, I do everything that has anything to do with alcohol and everything that has anything to do with coffee. I got an unbelievable playlist. I challenge you to check it out. Just check it out. Also, every video I do, I pin the first comment because it has a link to the playlist that pertains to what I'm reviewing. In this case, bourbon. A bourbon that may be a day late and a dollar short. I'll tell you a little something about this bourbon. It's called Earl Settler. All right. Made by Kentucky Artisans. It's the one that it's in uh, Crestwood, Kentucky in Oldham County. It makes Jefferson's bourbon. The story behind this is this was nine dollars and 99 cents 80 proof bourbon aged minimum of two years and apparently the man who was making it had a contract with artisan distilleries and he told them what mash bill and all this and that and they made it for him and bottled it and then he he sold it and uh he died and when he died it it, it it, it unfortunately died. It, it was discontinued. It was a really hot selling bourbon because for nine ninety nine, it was unbelievable. I mean, weddings. It was a beautiful bourbon for weddings, for mixing. You could even sip it. Anything you could do, like say with a Jack Daniels or a Jim Beam, you could do with this bourbon. But it was nine ninety nine. Uh, surprisingly good. And when it was a full bottle, well. You know, this one is down to the end. It was discontinued about two years ago. I should have bought more. I knew it was coming. I don't know what I was thinking. But when I was in Florida mm, last winter, I'm in a store down there. And I go, I go to a bunch of stores. I always look to see what they have from where I live in Kentucky. And one store has one bottle left no way anybody knew what it was not that it's unbelievable not that it's great but for $9.99 and the fact that it's not made anymore this was the, probably the last bottle in existence if you see one grab it um i i couldn't believe it i really couldn't i grabbed that so fast and it is out of, out of stock there now and they're never going to get it again i couldn't believe that bottle was sitting there $9.99 anyway Let's review it. Let's review it. Even though I don't think you can get it. But I might be saying to you, look for it. Look for this. And if you find it, jump on it. Jump all over it. Fish that later. Um, no use having a bottle with this. I kill these little ends. Uh, oh, I'm smelling it. And we all know it. I've done a lot of blinds with this, by the way. With like Jim Beam and Jack Daniels. A lot of people pick this not knowing it. Yeah. It's incredible. You know, right away you know it's bourbon if you're if you're blindfolded. I mean, it has distinct characteristics of bourbon whiskey. It's got the yolk, it's got the sweetness coming through, you know, the however people describe it, brown sugar, honey, caramelized sugar. There's always that. Even though it's uh, just two years or at least two years, it's it's got the you know brand new oak charred container and it, it's coming through. It's a little grainy, detecting a little youngness. I mean, it's nine ninety nine. Okay, little cherry cola. All right, let's get into it. Um, It's not, it's not complex. It's not unbelievably good, but it sure as hell is $9.99 good. That I can tell you. I haven't had it in a while. I miss old Earl. Yeah. I don't know what, uh, I hate to open this thing. It's the last one in existence that I know of. 
I got plenty of stuff there. Let's take a acclimation sip. Now we'll go in for taste. You would guess that this is young, okay? Because it's very grainy. It is grainy. It is young tasting. Um, it's got vanilla. It's got oak. It's got a little sweetness. The graininess is, um, I haven't had this in a while. Uh, now, I do drink a lot of uh, cash strength. I'm trying to put this in its place. Uh, this is not competing, okay? It's not like if this was still being made, oh my God, I can find... But but what this competes... So it's, it's got vanilla, it's got a nice nose. It's not very complex. It is grainy tasting. A um, little, uh, you know, little bit of oak, kiss of oak, kiss of vanilla. Kiss of sweetener, that, that's it. It's an unbelievably great mixer. I'll put it to this way. You could easily replace a Jim Beam or a Jack Daniels in any kind of cocktail with this. And we're going from now, what, $15.99 or whatever those two bottles are to $9.99. That was the beauty of this. Sipping it straight certainly could do it. It's not, not necessarily something I would I'd be into too much. Um, uh, but, you know, like I say... A any kind of cocktail. It just works. It's, it was great for weddings and then things like that. So anyway, a late review, but a review nonetheless of Earl Settler. Earl Settler, Kentucky straight bourbon. 40% alcohol by volume, 80 proof. Oak barrel aged. Aren't they all? 